Hey, girlies. Gabriella meets an old friend and falls in love. Don't forget to watch the previous episodes if you haven't seen them. Enjoy. As Gabriella was walking towards the escalator, she noticed Sarah, her high school friend from across the mall. Sarah and her always had a great rapport, sharing many memories together. After classes, they would spend time together, laughing and chatting away at their favourite hangout spots. However, Sarah had no idea that Gabriel was now a girl named Gabriella, and seeing her friend across the mall caught her off guard. She had been transformed into a girl who was now wearing a red bra and panties underneath her loose sweatshirt and baggy pants. It was quite a sight to behold. Gabriella hesitated for a moment before deciding to approach Sarah. She knew it was going to be awkward, but Sarah had always been her closest friend, and she missed her dearly. As she got closer, Sarah recognised her immediately and let out a gasp of surprise. Gabriel, is that you? she exclaimed, staring at Gabriella's transformed figure. Oh my God, you look stunning! Gabriella blushed and stammered out a small reply. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, it's me. I guess I've changed a lot since high school. Sarah couldn't take her eyes off of Gabriella's chest and hips. She knew that something was different about her friend, but she couldn't quite put her finger on it. And so, they spent the next few minutes catching up on old times and filling each other in on what they had been up to since high school. Sarah couldn't believe how much Gabriella had changed and how beautiful she looked now that she was dressed in more feminine clothes. As they were talking, Sarah suggested that they go shopping together and find some clothes that would suit Gabriella's transformed figure better than the baggy sweatshirt and pants she was currently wearing. Gabriella hesitated at first, but then decided that it might not be such a bad idea after all. They headed towards the garage down at the ground level as Cindy had recommended earlier. As they walked through the racks of clothes together, Sarah helped Gabriella find some outfits that would accentuate her curves and make her look even more stunning than she already did. They picked out some jeans that fit perfectly on her hips and showed off her new curves, as well as some blouses and tops that complemented her chest and made her feel confident and comfortable in her transformed body. Sarah even convinced Gabriella to buy some high-heeled shoes that would make her look taller and more feminine than ever before. As they were trying on clothes together, Sarah couldn't help but notice how much more confident and happy Gabriella seemed to be now that she was dressed as a girl. It was as if a whole new world had opened up for her, one that was full of possibilities and opportunities that she had never thought possible before. And so, they spent the rest of the day shopping together and laughing like old times, as if the years that had passed since high school had never even happened. As they were leaving the mall, Sarah turned to Gabriella and said, I hope you had a fun time shopping today. It was really great to see you again and to catch up on old times. Gabriella smiled and replied, Thanks, Sarah. I really missed you, and I'm glad we had the chance to hang out together today. It was definitely a fun day. Gabriella felt a sense of gratitude and contentment that she had never experienced before in her life. She knew that her journey as a girl was just beginning, and that there were many more challenges and obstacles that lay ahead of her. But for now, she was happy to take things one day at a time and to enjoy the moment for what it was worth. After their shopping spree, Sarah and Gabriella exchanged phone numbers and promised to stay in touch more often. They said their goodbyes and went their separate ways. Sarah felt happy and content, knowing that she had finally seen her old friend again, and Gabriella felt grateful for the kind words and support that Sarah had shown her during their time together. As Gabriella walked back to her car, she couldn't help but smile at the thought of the fun day she had just had. She was excited to try on all of her new clothes and to see how they looked on her transformed body, and so she drove back home and headed straight to her room to unpack her bags and to try on her new outfits one by one. As she was putting on one of her favourite dresses, she heard someone knocking on her front door. She looked at the clock and realised that it was Sarah who had come to visit her at her home later in the day. She was happy to see her friend again and opened the door to let her inside. Sarah walked in and took a deep breath, admiring the beautiful decorations and furniture that Gabriella had in her home. 
She complimented her on how well she had decorated it and how comfortable it felt to be inside. And then she surprised Gabriella by asking if she would like to go out for dinner together that evening. Gabriella hesitated for a moment, but then agreed to Sarah's invitation. She was happy to spend more time with her friend and to experience life as a girl with her by her side. And so they headed out to their favourite Italian restaurant and enjoyed a delicious meal together, complete with laughter and good conversation. As they were sitting there enjoying their food, Sarah noticed how beautiful Gabriella looked in her new dress and couldn't help but compliment her again on how well it suited her transformed body. And then she surprised Gabriella once more by leaning over and giving her a gentle kiss on the lips. Gabriella blushed and smiled back at her friend, feeling a sense of joy and happiness that she had never felt before in her life. And so they spent the rest of the evening together, enjoying each other's company and sharing more memories that would last them for a lifetime. As they walked back to Gabriella's home later that night, Sarah held her hand tightly and whispered softly in her ear, I hope you had a fun day today. Thank you for being such a great friend to me. Gabriella smiled back and replied, Thanks, Sarah. I had a fantastic day and I'm glad we got to spend some time together. I hope we can do this again soon. And with that, they shared one final hug before Sarah headed back home and Gabriella went back to her room to change into her pyjamas and to get ready for bed. She felt grateful for her transformed body and for the new friendships that it had brought her way. And as she closed her eyes to go to sleep that night, she knew that she had finally become the person that she had always wanted to be, both inside and out. The next morning she heard another knock on the door. This time it was Mike. Hi there, beautiful, said Mike with a wide smirk. Gabriella was not happy to see Mike. Even though she had enjoyed womanhood and cherished her relationship with Sarah, Mike had not asked for Gabriella for her consent before giving her the transformation pill. Mike asked, Aren't you going to invite me in? That dress looks beautiful on you, by the way. I love your new feminine form. Gabriella made it clear that she wasn't going to invite him in, so he better spill the beans and tell her what he wanted to say now. Oh, I just wanted to let you know that the cheer team walk-ins are in a couple of days, said Mike. You might have better luck there with that pretty face and new body. Gabriella couldn't believe Mike's words. How could he? She couldn't bear to look at his face any longer, so she shut door on his face. Once her emotions settled, she gave it another thought. The state school offered scholarships for cheerleaders as well. Gabriella had always wanted to play college football, but she had never been good enough. At this point, she had no hope for a football scholarship, but the cheer team could still allow her to get a college education. As Gabriella was lost in his thoughts, she heard another knock on the door. It was Sarah. Hi, Gabby, she said. That name didn't bother Gabriella when Sarah was the one calling her that. Hi, Sarah, replied Gabriella. Good to see you. Please come in. Sarah noticed that Gabriella looked a little down, so she asked, What's wrong? You know how I always wanted to play football in college, but I could never make it. Well, there are cheerleading trials in a few days, and I was wondering if I should give it a go. Well, Sarah said, the cheerleading team can give you the opportunity. You know I was a gymnast in high school. I can help you train. Gabriella didn't know how to respond to the kind offer. With Sarah on her side, she felt like she could achieve anything. With Sarah's support, she decided that she would train for the cheerleading walk-ins. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow us on other social media. Enjoy your girly day.